Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about phagocytosis. This is the part third of the acute inflammation series. Do watch the previous two videos also. So, uh, giving you a brief introduction, what happens is whenever there is any microbial infection, uh, the neutrophils or macrophages from the cells, they will move uh, from the vessel, sorry, they will move out of the vessel and they will move towards the offending agent. Now, we have discussed this step of migration of the uh, neutrophil out of the out of the vessel in the previous video now going to the next step so what will happen is the response of the WBCs uh, they will recognize the offending agent okay they have to recognize this agent and they have to differentiate it from the normal cells and then they have to activate its own processes its own defenses so that it can destroy the offending agent now how does it recognize firstly so first step is recognition it has several receptors present on the wbcs which will recognize these stimuli firstly is the toll like receptor which can recognize then is the g, g protein coupled receptor these are also present on neutrophils macrophages and they recognize short bacterial peptides then other thing is uh, a receptor for the cytokines so receptor for the cytokines like interferon gamma these are also present they also wbcs also recognize uh, these receptors and uh, these cytokines and the action can be taken and lastly there are receptor for opsonins now what is opsonin firstly you can have to understand this this if this is a microbe so you can see this is a microbe this is a opsonin which is coating the microbe or any particle so what does it do is it makes the microbe more tastier, more appealing for the WBCs. So the uh, the WBCs they recognize this option and then they attack on the uh, microbe. Okay, the, this whole process is known as opsonization. Various antibodies, various complement systems, they uh, complement system factors, they act as opsonins. Now the, this was the recognition part. Now going to the phagocytosis part. Now phagocytosis it uh, comprises mainly of the three steps which will take place. By definition firstly the cell has to recognize the particle which has to be phagocytosed by the WBC. Second is the engulfment and lastly is the killing of the particle. Okay we have already discussed the recognition part. Then we will go to the engulfment part then we will discuss briefly about the a killing of the ingested particle now in this picture in this diagram you can see this is a phagocytic receptor the yellow one is the microbe now it has already been recognized now it will uh, go into the second step that is the engulfment how engulfment take place is there is formation of pseudopodia by polymerization of actin filaments okay there is some cytoskeletal changes which will take place this is the pseudopodia formation and this will move further and further okay and the, by this movement what will happen is there will be formation of phagosome there will be pinching of this vesicle from the plasma membrane it will pinch off from here and it will form phagosome now there is lysosome present uh, uh, in the wbcs and if it contains some hydrolytic enzymes now if phagosome combines with a lysosome and there is formation of phagolysosome, the killing of the microbe can take place by enzymatic method. This is the first killing method that is the enzymatic method. The hydrolytic enzymes which are present, they can kill directly the microbe. Other method is by killing or by is by reactive oxygen species by the free radical production. Okay, so we will discuss that in uh, detail. So how does the killing take place? It is by, uh, we have already discussed, first is the hydrolytic method that I am not discussing, second is the free radical method. Now free radicals, they are of two types. Firstly, there can be reactive oxygen species which can be produced, then there is reactive uh, nitrogen species. Now the major component is uh, of our microbial killing is caused by reactive oxygen species. Now let's discuss how these are formed, the reactive oxygen species. Now uh, the very important enzyme involved is NADPH oxidase. Okay, and the process is known as respiratory burst. Uh, let's uh, understand it by a diagram. Okay. So what happens is 
the NADPH oxidase enzyme. This enzyme is present in the wall of phagolysosome. Uh, okay, phagolysosome. Now, what will happen is uh, because this enzyme is present only in phagolysosome, so this process will not harm any other organelles of the cell. It will only harm the microbes. Okay, so uh, it uh, this is very important. So oxygen will convert itself into superoxide anion form and uh, with the help of this enzyme uh, and this is a highly unstable form of oxygen it undergoes spontaneous dismutation to form hydrogen peroxide now hydrogen peroxide in the presence of myeloperoxidase now you if you know the myeloperoxidase enzyme it is present in the azurophilic granules of the neutrophil so this enzyme will do conversion of chloride which is present into hypochlorite form now this hypochlorite form is very important antimicrobial it is a very this whole system is very uh, potent bactericidal system of the uh, neutrophils uh, so what does this hypochlorite do so you have seen till hypochlorite formation now what does this hypochlorite do it kills the microbes by two processes further it can do halogenization and it can do lipid peroxidation by these two methods it will kill the microbe and this is the whole process of reactive oxygen species also a reactive oxygen species they can be production of hydroxyl ion also OH this hydroxyl ion this ion uh, this is also a component which can kill the um, microbes it can also act as antimicrobial now second is by reactive of nitrogen species now nitric oxide which is formed from the arginine by NOS okay by nitric oxide synthe uh, synthase enzyme this also uh, can uh, play a role it combines what does it do it combines with the superoxide anion okay and it forms a peroxynitrite and this also is a very potent antimicrobial agent it will also kill okay so these are the uh, two three processes by which the phagocytosis the killing and the degradation work important to note is in some patients like uh, in which there is deficiency of myeloperoxidase enzyme what will happen is they will be more potent to the infections so it has some clinical significance in that sort also so this was all about the phagocytosis do like share and subscribe to this channel if you like these videos thanks for watching it